Yeah, I know I said this last month, but like, why is time going by so fast? We're already getting into April. Um, I was able to actually plan a little bit before the actual month started. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, also, let's suggest the fact that I upgraded my iPad, y'all. So I've been digital planning for maybe like two years. And I decided that it was time for a new newer iPad um, and just for me to upgrade my device. So as you see here, I am just throwing the stickers that I think I want to use or that I want to use all in the pile here. Um, it's kind of a color scheme, but it's really not. Let's just say it's giving spring. I'm going with the spring color scheme. So it's bright, pretty, like, I guess, pastel-y colors, the yellows, the peach, that lilac. You know, I, I hope I'm saying colors right. Now on to add the things like um, the days of the week. I like to start my weeks on Sunday and the dates. I thought this font was pretty cute with the whole theme I'm trying to go with. Um, so I decided just to go with this font and the color still matches with the rest of the, I guess, layout or the theme. Now here is where it got interesting. So I normally don't number my calendar like this. I number I normally go like one by one and just stack them on top of each other as I go through the week. But this sticker pack actually came with dates. So I just had to go like do it like this tedious cropping or whatever. And I just stacked them on top of each other and I figured out a system and it actually worked. So it came out cute because the numbers were actually the same size. Now I'm sitting here going, adding stuff like holidays or national days, um, like Earth Day here. That's such a pretty glow. Um, and just adding things. I have April Fool's there too. Now, uh, if for those of you that don't know, I have a son that is a senior in high school. So his prom is in April and I'm so excited. So of course that's added to the calendar. I also have to add like important days, like half days or stuff like that for my kids, as well as I'm in school and one of my classes ends this week. So I had to add that to the calendar as well. Now, you guys know I had to add my um, astrological stuff. So there is going to be a solar eclipse coming up on the same day. There's going to be a new moon in Aries. So I added that as well as the full moon towards the end of the month. So it was still kind of looking plain to me. I decided to give it like a little border here. And as you can see, it still goes with the color scheme of that like lilac, I think it is. And it's like giving the look a little bit more because it was just giving too much white space like if it's a lot of white space i'm your girl not feeling it so <laughs> i go ahead and just try to fill it up as much as possible um i know i'll be probably adding more stuff like dates or events or whatever throughout the month but this is just like the basic stuff that i can remember right now so this is the final look um let me know what you guys think 